So one of the things that I get asked on a regular basis is who uses a coach? And um, as I said in one of the other videos that I really can't stand that word, but we have to use it because it's the colloquialism, it's the known uh, word that you use to identify that sort of practice. So given that, the people that come to a coach are kind of diverse. Um, I call myself a success coach if I'm going to use anything or a success partner because I think that really has to do with uh, business and personal. You can't separate those things. I know people want to do that. I don't think you can take those two apart, especially for entrepreneurs, um, which I get a lot of people who are you know independent, they work for themselves or they work for someone independently where they ha are responsible for bringing in their own business. It's impossible to say only focus this on the professional only focus this on the personal. It doesn't work like that. The person, you know, is the reason that we're doing all of this. So the people that come to me will be highly successful already, um, or to the opposite end of that spectrum, are really in trouble and don't know what to do. And if they're in that condition, I may not be able to help them at all because it's too far. It, you know, it's things have slid. So one of the things I try to do with people is really try to understand what is it they're trying to do. If they're in trouble, I can't help them, most likely, even from the business side. If I'm working on it from a professional uh, consulting side or a marketing side to try to boost their business, occasionally there are things we can do to help them out, but most of the time, uh, one of the things that may be time to just hang it up. Uh, we have a lot of what so-called coaches and consultants and business coaches and all that other stuff out there that are pat you on the back, great job, give me your money, and move on. Um, my clients will tell you that I'm happy to tell them when they're wrong <laughs> because that's what they need to hear. I don't give you what you want to hear. So when somebody comes to me and they're really in trouble, the thing I will say is, I'm not sure I can help you. Let's look at some options that you can do on your own so they're not paying me for something that is just going to fail and I know it's going to fail. Um, but maybe put them onto someone who can kind of guide them into a succession plan. Maybe they need to sell the business. Maybe they need to close it whatever that happens to be. So there's a little bit involved there. Uh, the other, the middle line of all of that is when you have someone who wants to uh, do a little bit better, they're doing okay as it is, but they wanna do a little bit better. They're not in trouble, they're ready to move forward. They wanna to get to that next step, but there are obstacles. And part of the, my job is to help them identify those obstacles, preferably to avoid them so you don't have to climb them. But if you do get to that point, then our job is to help you figure out how to get around those obstacles the correct way or as correct as possible in your situation. So it's all those things in the middle. So if you have a question, give us a call. We'll try to help you out and let you know for sure from the absolute gut exactly what you need to do from there on.